Yes, yeah, Tanmay. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I've made the table. Okay, you can check the table uh, with the slide whether you have made it correctly or not. What I've asked, asked for Kuala Lumpur, no? So you can see the Kuala Lumpur table and check whether you have done it correctly or not. And tell me. So uh, can you change the meeting uh, details? Uh, someone is removing from the meeting. Okay now. Yes. Okay, now you can check. Okay, Tanmay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now if you finally see and once you configure all this routing table, this is the complete picture that will be like this, that every router would be having these routing tables. And you can see here that from Sydney, there are two direct networks. From Kuala Lumpur, there are four direct networks. And the whole mechanical process, if you apply, you'll get to see this type of complete scenario with every router is having a routing table. I, I admit this is a very simplistic scenario just to make you understand about the routing table configuration and routing process. And forwarding process rather, routing process is different. If there are more ways to reach to a destination, then the routing will come into picture to select the best path. And depending upon the selected best path, the routing table will be again reconfigured. And this process keep on happening the configuration and reconfiguration, auto configuration of routing table. Now the next is, suppose there is a node source IP 10.70 and destination IP is 168.10.120 and this packet is required to be transferred. What will happen? First of all, suppose a node in this LAN 10.70 wants to send back it to 10.120. What is the first step you are required to do? Tanmay. Uh, sorry, sir, can you repeat once more? What is the first step is needed when you want to transfer data from 190 to 168, 10.70 to 10.120? Okay, let me explain. You can see that for this LAN, this particular interface is the default gateway. You can see. Now, when you apply slash 27 on destination network, destination IP, obviously you will get a different network ID from your own. You apply your subnet mask on your IP address, you'll get dot 64. When you apply subnet mask of slash 27 you'll get different ip address different network id and then you will come to know that i have to transfer this packet first of all to the default gateway the packet will go to the kuala lumpur router and in kuala lumpur router <coughs> this is the routing table of kuala lumpur router now what will be done the destination IP will be compared with all the entries. Obviously, there is a shortcut method also, which we'll be discussing later. So we'll take up the destination IP and say compare with this entry, apply the slash 27 and see whether you are getting the network ID. This, 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 all net marks will be applied on this destination IP at the Kuala Lumpur router and what will happen? You apply, when you apply slash 28, means 
हाँ प्रशांत दो मिनट के लिए हैंग हुआ था फिर चल गया हम्म हाँ हाँ ठीक 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 सो स्लैश ट्वेंटी एट so apply when you apply this and do the sub uh, bitwise and operation you will get dot 112 and dot 112 is this this particular entry so your ip address destination ip matches with this entry now what you need to do if you want to kuala lumpur knows now that okay this destination ip i have to throw it to the next hop this 10.129 is 10.129 this ip address and then which through which interface i should throw this 10.130 10.130 this interface so then packet will be transferred to singapore router now you will see the routing table of singapore again the same process will be applied subnet mask of all the entries comparison with the network destination Now you can see when you do the subnet mask slash twenty eight, you'll get to see this, and this is the entry which is matching, which is directly connected, and you have to throw it via one one three, and in this way, packet can be transferred to the destination node. So this is how whole process is. This I admit that this is a this is uh, explained in a very simple manner there may be situation when you are here and you will be finding that the entries are ordered in the routing table from highest subnet mask high highest subnet mask hello class le raha hu bas 10 minute mein class khatam kar fine so 1/28 it is matching so there may be situation when you will find that okay these entries are ordered from the uh, uh, according to the size of the subnet mask the slash 30 first then slash 28 then slash 27 then trans 26 and sometime you will feel that there are two entries which are matching so when there are two entries if they are matching then you have to choose the longest common sequence the number of bit means if slash 30 and slash 27 both are matching you need to pick up the slash 30 wala entry because it suggests that that slash 27 may be inside slash 30 sorry slash 30 may be inside slash 27 so and that's why the entries are ordered from highest to lowest subnet mask so you start comparing from the top entry and as and when the match is there you select that because you know that entries which are below that are going to be the uh, not going to the longest common sub match so this is how the whole forwarding process and vlsm and cidr is performed i'm done with my lecture if there are any question you can ask Okay if there are no question then you can leave thank you